Hey everyone, it's Eric from BatmanNotes.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the updated version from Inside Editions. It's the definitive history of the Dark Knight in comics, film, and beyond. We're going to tell you the difference between the original pressing that came out in 2019 and the newly released updated version. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Let's take a look at uh, the outside first. You're going to get a little bit more glossier version than the older version was a little the uh, dust jacket was a little flatter matted kind of looking the newer version is kind of the the dust jacket is kind of glossier taking the dust jackets off you're going to get the identical cover uh, there's going to be a page count difference we'll get to that later but we just wanted to give you a look at the dust jacket and the cover difference which there isn't much difference to the cover other than the fact that you're gonna get a glossier dust jacket on the newer version so let's go ahead and open this one up <laughs> and we're gonna open this one up great cover just a bunch of different Batman uh, references in here the Dark Knight comics, you just got the animated series, everything Gotham City. Beautiful cover there. Um, and once you open it up, you are going to get, instead of just the generic uh, colored or black in pages, you're going to get the logos through the years. Very cool from start to kind of Batman vs. Superman one. Love that. Love when they detail crap like that. Uh, just beautiful. Go ahead and open this one up. Once again, Batman, the definitive history of the Dark Knight in comics, film, and beyond. Beautiful artwork throughout. Man, love the artwork. Here's your table of contents so you can surf around um, and go to the places you want to go most first. Uh, you'll get a foreword by Michael Keaton. Many consider him to be the Batman. Uh, once again, he's in the uh, Flash, new Flash movie. Uh, but many remember him from the, uh, the original Tim Burton, Batman and Batman Returns movies. Great portrayal. Cool picture behind the scenes photo there with Tim Burton. The foreword once again by Michael Keaton. Prefaced by Dennis O'Neill, DC editor, just writer, everything for DC Comics back when comic books were awesome. Not that they aren't now, but Dennis O'Neill, yeah, they were even better. Introduction uh, by Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. Who else reads comic books today and, had, and you have uh, Kevin Conroy's voice behind as you're reading? Legend. It starts off with the Legends of the Dark Knight. Great little rundown. DC Comics, number 33. Give you a lot of inside and behind the scenes info. There's that legendary Detective Comics 27 cover. Batman's first appearance. And you'll also get... Uh, so you're, you're not only getting that, but you're getting the actual reprint of the comic book. Um, from De Detective Comics 27. Yeah, a little harder to thumb through since it's a little smaller, but it, the insert is in there. Um, just very neat little reprint there in with inside the pages, the whole reprint. So you're going to get a, a rundown of Bill Finger and Bob Kane. Uh, finally, Bill Finger is getting some credit for uh, Batman. Before it was just Bob Kane. Now, fi finally, Finger is getting some credit, which is long overdue. You get how Batman trained. There's the introduction of Robin Boy Wonder in Detective Comics 38. 
So you get a rundown of the Boy Wonder. First Joker. World's best comics with Superman. What a trio. So you get a bunch of stuff from comics and you also get the the oldest uh, live action Batman stuff. Um, little behind the scenes stuff there. Once again, you'll get all these classic covers and info and you'll get cool little inserts like this Batmobile little bl blueprint action very cool a lot of cool inside stuff Justice League is not skipped over um, the new look Batman from Detective Comics Just cool little inserts. And who can forget the 60s Batman with Adam West and Burt Ward. That's the, the, the first kind of exposure that I got to Batman was Super Friends and uh, Adam West Batman, of course, in reruns, as I'm not old enough to see that in the original format, but most of us have seen it in reruns. Fortunately, they're available on Blu-ray Blu now. Just cool <laughs> behind the scenes stuff and info on even merchandising. How cool is that? The Brave and the Bold stuff. Skip through a little bit through here. Comic books, once again, just here it is. My first real exposure. Um, Watching every Saturday morning was the Super Friends. Uh, and uh, I believe this penguin is from the filmation um, 60s uh, animated series, um, which I think they use the same cells for the 70s version of the Batman animated series. Um, but uh, cool stuff there. There's the Super Friends, the original lineup with Marvin and Wendy. You'll get nice storyboards, just great, super friends. There's that filmation stuff. The new adventures of Batman with Batgirl. Once again, I think they, they use uh, some of the same cells, uh, animated cells, to uh, do that new newer animated series. And who could forget the annoying Batmite? <laughs> Just great. You'll notice some of the errors with the R uh, inverted. Um, a little bit cheaper animation, but I still loved it. It was great. Galactic Guardians that you get later on in the Super Friends. You also get this nice little uh, storyboard insert on a very classic episode if you've uh, seen that before the fear act one there my favorite one from the galactic guardians uh series which was super friends later on so you'll just it like i said like the cover um and the uh and the title of this book you're just going to get all the information it truly is you know, the film, comics, collectibles, you name it, it is in here. There's the uh, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. Groundbreaking, kind of a dark, grittier Batman. So, get all kinds of cool little inserts. Detective Comics. Great error for comic books. Great art throughout. I love that Brian Boland uh, cover. I actually liked it more than the comic. Just incredible artwork. And there's where, well, Robin, 
we'll skip over that. Uh, Batman finally comes to the silver screen uh, in a non-hokey version, I guess you call it. Michael Uslan uh, finally got his dark, grittier Batman to the silver screen. And you get a lot of inside information, cool inside pictures throughout um, some of the artwork for it. Just how the Gotham City looked. Man, if you were in theaters, just some cool little inserts on things that were scheduled to be in the movie, but just didn't make it. And we'll save that for you to read on something that was supposed to be in the Burton movie, but didn't make it. The film adaptation that's uh, finally being reprinted. Just cool behind the scene photos. And then you're gonna get, uh, you know, some updated stories on the new Robin in comics and the Sword of Azrael and how Batman got his back broken and defeated for the first time by Bane. Awesome. Kelly Jones cover. Just great, uh, you know, uh, the story of uh, Bane, the story of Bane breaking Batman's back epic uh, Graham Nolan and Chuck Dixon just bringing it then you get the triumphant return of Batman with Batman Returns that's not skimped over you get the artwork behind the scenes photos beautiful beautiful stuff just really love that stuff then you're gonna get Schumacher uh, who took over um, more fun, somewhat flamboyant <laughs> um, portrayal of Batman. I like the dark, uh, uh, I like Batman Forever. Do not like Batman and Robin by any means, but Batman Forever, a little disappointed coming out of theater from seeing it, but looking back at it, still like Val Kilmer and Chris O'Donnell as Batman and Robin, the dynamic duo. And who doesn't like Jim Carrey? Great, great Riddler. Not so much for Tommy Lee Jones and Two-Face. You get some Batman and Robin artwork. That is epic looking. Uh, you notice with the Batman and Robin, he had the kind of Nightwing symbol. The uh, story goes that they were supposed to do a Nightwing solo movie if Batman and Robin wasn't such a piece of crap. But that did not happen. More inserts, there's of uh, Ivy Art, and a good major section for Batman the Animated Series, including inside information, storyboards, art. It is all here, just incredible. And the new Batman Adventures wasn't Super crazy about the animation style difference. It kind of looked a little cheaper to me, but still some great stories going on with that. Mad Love, nothing is skipped over. Batman Beyond, which I was totally against when I heard that they were doing that. What a great series, was I so wrong on that. Get some merchandising, I actually have that statue, very cool. You get some Alexander Ross art. And you also get some long Halloween info. Nice little bonus there. We'll save that for you for when you open. We'll leave, leave a few surprises for you. Kind of the evolution of Batman through comics and more. Jim Lee, man, Hush from Batman Hush. What a story. If you don't have that, you got to get it. Batman Hush, one of my all time favorite comics for sure. So that was the highly disappointing uh, team up of Frank Miller and Jim Lee of the retelling of the Robin story. Fantastic, fantastic artwork. Horrible, horrible story. <laughs> so, and then to me, which is the definitive movie version of Batman, no question is this man, Christopher Nolan's Batman. Batman begins right there. The trilogy, there is no substitute, not even close. And once again, you're gonna get behind the scenes photos, 
uh, you'll get all three stories with kind of how they uh, vision this story before, during, and after. Just great artwork. You also get the little insert, extra bonus inserts on this behind the scenes. Great, man, what a great series. And Batman Strikes, uh, you get that, uh, they had a, uh, an accompanying um, comic book going on with the Batman. Um, but I really think the Batman animated series, the most underrated animated series there ever was. Uh, for sure and you're gonna get some background information on that as well as the brave and the bold different animated styles even beware the Batman which was short-lived uh, computer animation not one of my favorites uh, and the the video game series as well as Lego the Arkham series as well as Batman Lego both popular series Arkham by far the best uh, series, the best um, Batman video game series for sure. Uh, we have a vet, we actually have a video game retrospective page with a video game critic. We'll leave a link below in the description where you can check that out. But uh, obviously we give the Batman Arkham series thumbs way up as we consider it the best and many of you at home the same the best uh, video game series by far uh, was pretty disappointed by um, the telltale series um, not good Batman family extended look at the bat family the rebirth as DC tries to drum up um, some interest hey you'll get a little Neat little Batman mask that uh, pulls out there. Uh, more about the rebirth. Jim Lee's beautiful artwork. And then you're going to go to Batman vs. Superman with Ben Affleck. Some cool, cool shots and behind the scenes stuff on that. Nice shot of artwork, Affleck. Justice League huge disappointment <laughs> you also get the TV version of Batman Gotham and then the updated version you're gonna get this stuff the Batman uh, Robert Pattinson and Matt Reeves team up uh, for this new version of Batman which was not available in the original pressing so this is some of the stuff that you're gonna uh, get in the newer version with the extra 40 pages, cool artwork. A lot goes in these movies and you'll get to see the behind the scenes stuff from there. More on the designs. And just incredible, incredible artwork. Full page artwork, love it. Love this Mondo um, picture of the Michael Keaton Batman. So just a lot of stuff to thumb through and uh, another neat extra. This came in the other one, but um, get the return of Batman. What Bob Kane sent to Warner Brothers, how he envisioned the 1989 Batman movie to be. So all in all, this is the most comprehensive Batman book that's out there. It's also got the thick, glossy pages, which are really nice. This is a beautiful book. The updated version is available now. We'll provide a link below, hopefully save you a little bit of cash. We give this one our highest recommendation. Thanks to Inside Editions for sending it out. We appreciate you checking out this video. This is Eric from Batman Notes. We'll see you next time.